Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. We're back on full crap today. This is the second video. Today we're going to work on some more of the base uh, infrastructure, getting things set up, getting some needed things done. I've already done a little bit of this, and I've been doing this inside of a stream, so some people are watching me do this live. But uh, what I decided to do was first I needed to get some resources, so I came back over to where this meteor is, and I started to go and make a spiral staircase going down. Yay! Isn't that cool? So while I'm spiraling down here and making you dizzy, because I know I'm already dizzy, I say, hey, if you like this video and you like this series, please click that like button. Let me know what you think of it. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're going to have fun down here. So once we get down here, we're going to see about mining some stuff out. Maybe I can find some diamonds, get some diamond picks going, and getting the resources so we can start to really build some things back at the base. Oh, my gosh, I'm already dizzy. Oh, we're falling, we're falling, we're falling. <laughs> this is kind of fun. There we are. We're finally down here. And this is as much as I have done. Isn't that great? Not much. But we do have an iron pick so we can uh, get some things here so I can grab like the redstone and stuff like that. DSA's here and, and uh, in the chat for the uh, stream. It says smash that like button. So yes, everybody, please smash that like button. We're going to spend some time down here. We're going to get some resources. We're going to take it back up there. We're going to build some really cool things uh, in at the base. So See you in a bit. All right, so we've been working a lot, going through this mine. See, you can see that's where I set up, and I've been dug that way till I hit some lava. I'm kind of going off in this direction, just kind of uh, trying to figure out what we're doing. And it was told by DSA in the chat, hey, don't waste your picks. Just vein mine while holding a piece of cobblestone. So that way you don't waste your pick. Now, this does take a, you know, a year and a half to get there, but once you do, and you keep holding that button down, it does a lot more, and hey, I didn't burn through a pick. And that was really a waste of space because there is nothing here. Except for some iron. I can get that iron too. But see, that's that's really cool. Now I can just go up there and get that. I didn't waste my pick. I still have my pick. So I thank DSA for doing that. So now if uh, you're out there, you're trying to do some mining in the beginning, hit it with some cobblestone. It's slow, but it works. So pretty much everybody's telling me I should make a crafting stick or a crafting table on a stick. And so we're going to do that now. Oh, well, maybe that's not enough. Let's see here. So, yeah, that should work. So you have a crafting table. And then you make a sign. There we go. And you put it together just like that. And now we have a crafting table on a stick. Is it called crafting table on a stick? Yes. So now you put that down here. And I can be out here in the middle of the wilderness, which is just like my beach. And I click on it, and there it is, and we got the crafting grid like normal. So that's a very easy thing to uh, make, and it's useful when you're running around. So thanks, everybody. All right, we're back here. I have been working on the stream. We've been doing a couple of little things around the area. We set up this as my wheat farm, and we've been making, with that, we're making some bread. I've also got a worm in there somewhere. He's running around having a good old time. There he is. And then, because DSA said so, hey, you know what? Make some Pam. So we've done some of that. Like there's some corn again. Needs to be stuff needs to be uh, picked up. So I grow more. Oh, that one's not ready. That one's ready. That one's ready. So we got some more Pams going on here. And then what we decided to do was we wanted to get back in the back here. I put down some of these bonsai uh, trees. This is regular. This is plum. We have a cherry and we have a chestnut, I believe. And it's providing this kind of stuff into these chests. This is really cool. And we got a cobblestone generator. Yes, you were here for the, this. This is the cobblestone generator that uh, is working pretty well. It's got a storage drawer, and this is actually counting up. You don't have to use a quanti quantity key like you have used to in the past, which is kind of nice. And on this side, finally, we made this as a simple sterling generator. When I put uh, a fuel source in there, typically coal generates power. And with that, we put the wheat from the wheat farm into here. It makes flour. And if you put flour into the furnace, it makes bread. And here's a great little thing that I just learned. We're going to try to show you. Bread in a T formation makes pineapple pizza. I don't know how they got the pineapple, but it makes pineapple pizza, and that's pretty cool. So uh, I don't know if you can eat that right now. I can't. Anyway, we've been doing a lot of work here. Just thought I'd give an update. And uh, I'm going to continue on with the stream, and then we're going to be back in a little bit to show you what else we've done. Well, we have an outdoor kitchen. I don't have a lot of space in the uh, house, so we're doing this outside. DSA has been uh, working with me to try to get 
to work on Pam. So now I'm starting to get some stuff in the, in the fridge and trying to work with this. I'm still very, very new at it. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be coming along. You know, we've also got the, all these trees are providing some of the fruits and things. So we're doing pretty good. We've got a little bit of stuff set up. So we're going to continue on here in just a moment. Um, but I'm doing this video at the end of the stream because we're going to stop tonight for the stream. So uh, I'll say goodbye to everybody else. And then I'll come back to you guys here in just a second. And we'll continue on with this uh, episode of Full Craft. We had a great night streaming, and then now it's the next day. Uh, I am not streaming now, so it's just you and me, and we're going to have some fun here. Now, what I wanted to do, I saw this in another video. I wanted to make this battery system here. This is a wireless RF battery. This thing looked really cool when I saw it in a video, and so I want to try to make this. Now, the thing that's kind of tricky here, we can make redstone blocks, and I have some of these redst resonating redstone crystals in my inventory. I need to get stone burnt. Now, stone burnt, you have to use a resonator, which takes polished stone, and it uh, converts it into stone burnt. So we need to get a resonator, and the resonator is a little bit fun to make. We're going to have to make that too. Okay, But the thing about the resonator is it uses grid power to work. Now, most of the time, people will make a hand mill. It looks like this right here. And you have to sit there, and you have to right-click on it, and let it run for a while. But I've also saw in that same video, and many of you have probably have seen it already, is that you can make solar panels. These right here, these solar panels will give you some power. Okay, so we're going to make those right now. Um, I have three of those there. I have that, and I thought I had some polished stone somewhere. There's some polished stone. So we're going to make that right now. Let's see, let's put it over here. And there we go, we have nine of those. Excellent. Now we are, uh, uh, let's see here. I'm going to get some cobblestone, I think. I can't remember where things are. We're kind of green here. We like to do, you know, solar power and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go up and put these solar panels on our roof. Right on here. Okay, so here we go. All right. So see, now we have some grid power. We have, it uh, looks like, six possible grid power. I don't know if some of them are not generating. No power user generated. I wonder if that's because of the tree. This tree has to go, people. Okay, so let's... Uh, I don't have an axe, do I? I might have an axe in here. Or did I get lose it earlier in the video? I got an axe. Okay, let's go get this tree down. It's in the way. Probably it's not providing any power because it's in the shade. Ugh! Almost. Okay. <laughs> well, up we go. Gets in this uh, thing. I can see the shade now that I'm up higher. So that's why it's not doing that up a little further. There we go. Let's get this out of the way. And uh, let's go on down. This, uh, I want to go down a little bit, not too far, and then I can fall probably. We'll fall the rest of the way. Ow. But there we go. Okay. So now we have solar power, and it looks like we're producing some grid power up there. I wonder what we are at now. Probably at 9. So now we can try to make the resonator. All right, here's the resonator. It takes some iron. We've got that, a block of coal. We can make that redstone and that one of those crystals. So uh, let's go get all that in our inventory right now. We have to get iron. We have to get a redstone block. We're going to have to get some coal, a block. Well, that'll make the block. And we have to get some more of these crystals here. So let's make the block here. There it is. OK. Uh, that should do it, I think. And so we're going to make the resonator. And there that is. Just like that, we have a resonator, and it's got grid power. You can see it's 9. Um, I'm going to put this someplace over here where I don't really care. I'll put it right here in the corner, okay? And when you put this in here, it should automatically work because it has enough uh, grid power. And we're going to have some stone burn. So let me get some more uh, polished stone. This should be pretty quick here. I have some stone, I think, cooking up somewhere. There it is, okay. And we'll just take that out, make some stone brick. There we go. Make some polished stone. We'll throw that in there, and it'll just make stone burnt for us. Just like that. Okay, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, I just grabbed six stone burnt out of here. What we're going to do is we're going to make that wireless battery. Okay, so if you look here, the wireless battery, stone burnt, stone burnt, one of those resonating crystals. You can see the grid power goes up and down as it's being used. And two blocks of redstone. Okay, so we got the crystal, we got the stone burnt. We need two blocks of redstone. Just like that. And I wish it would empty this. Okay, there we go. We'll clear it. And then we're going to make that. 
And there it is. Now this is kind of cool. Uh, what it does is, I want to put it probably over here. Basically what this is, is that with this other device, it's right here, the wireless transmitter, it will receive power. This will transmit power to the transmitter, which will transmit power to devices that are near it. So it eliminates the need for power conduits. It's not very um, beefy as far as power, but for starting out, it's a great system. So what I need to do is I have to still, still go back. I need one more of these to make the, the uh, transmitter thing. So uh, we're going to go and mine that. And I also want to make some generators. So let me uh, go do some mining really quick off camera, and we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we're back. I did some mining, got some various resources, which is really cool. I'm going to throw that in here really quick. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to make for our power system, I'm going to make these coal generators. These are pretty easy. Just redstone torches and coal. I'm going to make a couple of these, probably three of these. So I'm going to need some coal, six torches, and these machine frames, which takes some lapis and some gold nuggets and things so let's get all that sorted out here uh let's see we need that we need to get some coal right there we go and we're gonna need some more sticks let's see do we have any wood there's some wood and some redstone let's make up some sticks there we go okay and we just need to get a bunch of those okay and we'll break that down let's do it with both of them and there we go. And I know we're going to need iron. Where'd all the iron go? There it is. Okay, so the machine frame, when you get the lapis, where is that? There it goes. Okay, so we need to make three of these, right? Yes. Okay, here we go. There we go. One, two, three of those. And then we need to make, we got a bunch of those already, right? Yes, so we need to take three of those. There we go. These are our generators, okay? And they're going to go right over here. Okay, and so they will, when I provide coal into them, like if I take a piece, I got two coal, I'll just put it in here. Okay, and these things, I can have a redstone signal or not right now, I'm going to just ignore it. I should start up, and there it is. Now it's been going into this device here, which is the battery. And it should have power. And it's hard to see whether it does or not. This is generating. I'm not sure if it's going in there yet. Is there a way to configure this to the output? That's what I need to figure out. But anyway, we're going to put the power into here. And then once that's done, we'll make the little RF transmitter. And we can make devices that run off RF. So this is like a little bit of a power system that we have going for our new house. Okay, let's figure out how to make that wireless uh, transmitter there. That, wire, that wireless transmitter was really cool. Okay, it's this device right here. A stone burnt and that. Well, heck. That's easy. We've got stone burn out here. It's just sitting in here. We've got a bunch. Now, it says grid power is being used, and I'm assuming that's because this is draining grid power. We're going to get uh, some more grid power in just a second, so why don't I just actually take this block out for a second? There. And this should be then working again. So what we're going to have to do, we're probably going to have to make something like a water mill or something like that first um, before we use all the wireless power. But let's make this right now because we've got this, and we got this right here. So we'll, uh, why don't I make four of them? Why not? And these, wow, 16 of them. We don't need it anymore. <laughs> I didn't see that. So we have a bunch of that now, so we can do what we need with that in just uh, a little bit when we get some devices. Let me, right now, uh, try to work on a water mill so that we can then get some more GP. Okay, let's look at this recipe for the water mill. Here's the water mill. It takes stone burnt. We have that. It has one of these. We have one of those left over and some redstone gears, which is wood and redstone torches. So let's gather all that together here. Here's that piece there. We need to get our redstone torches. We have a bunch of those, and we need some wood. There's some wood right there. So, and a stone burnt. It's still in this machine. Okay, let's go get that. There we go. Okay, so we should be good to go. I made that crafting on a stick, and I'm not using it. I really should uh, do that, but yeah. We'll get back to that in a minute. Okay. So there's our water mill. Excellent. So we're going to put this down over here. It is getting dark, but I'm not going to sleep because there are people on. DSA is on and Thomas is on, so probably one of them will sleep. Now, for the water mill, you need to have moving water along the side. So one way to do that, and you can see i got the buckets on me. Let's go get some water here. Is you put one in water in one corner, and you put water in another corner. Okay, and so now this is generating a lot more power okay 
So now we have grid powers up to level 16. Now the thing about it is, is that those solar panels really only work during the daytime. So if we go to sleep, I would think that our grid power would actually go up to, what, 25? So let's go see. Let's go look at this again, it should tell us. And now we have 25. So we are pretty good on grid power. And now if I put that device back over here, I'm not going to do it yet, but then we would have a way to transmit power. Okay? That's pretty cool. Okay, what I want to do for the rest of this episode, I would like to find a village or two. So we're going to head off in this direction, and I'm going to just start looking around, see if I can see some things, do some exploring. We might find some stuff that's really cool. Um, we'll see. And then we we'll go back to base. We'll have, hopefully, we'll have uh, some of the stuff from the village. So let me just do a little searching here. We'll be back in a little bit. I think the sheep have uh, eaten too many flowers. And that one's got something on his head. We'll go, we will free you, buddy. Here we go. Oh. oh, we got a face hugger. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm not going to let these sheep go. They're okay. Continuing on. <laughs> a chance cube. Yep, we're going to do it. Let's see if I can reach it from land, though. It's a little bit easier to maneuver if we have to. Here we go. Chance cube. A uh, book. Where did it go? Did I find it? I can't see. Didn't get it. I don't know where it is. Uh, darn it. Darn it, darn it, I can't see anything. Did it like go away? Was it some book that we uh, didn't need? I don't know. I'm swimming all around. I don't see the book anywhere. I don't know what that one was. No book under inventory. Oh, well. We did open a chance cube, though. That was pretty cool. Look at what I see. I finally found one. Now, I really want to find... I've seen that these villages... Oh, I hate those bushes. These villages, some of them have in them... Oh, there's some more cactus cows. Uh, have a, uh, a warp stone or a um, like a totem or whatever thing that uh, lets you uh, teleport between places. And I need that, and I think it's right here. This is what I want for my base, so let's grab this. It's a waystone. That's what it's called. And, of course, I don't have any room. I raided one of those monument things, but I don't need that. Okay. That's cool. And there's some other things here I want to try to find. See if I can find any plants or any materials that I need. So I'm going to raid this place pretty well, I think. So let's grab this tent. I guess that's going to be useful for sleeping. And we're going to go around looking at all the rooms here. Is there anything good in here? No. Good figures. That's a neat little lamp, though. I'll take that. I like that. I like that one, too. It's going to get dark, buddies. Um, okay, now this is a fermenting barrel. You can't take those because they are kind of like part of the setup that they have here. You can't really take them. Um, but I think you can take a lot of this stuff. So let's see if we can get these carrots here. Does it let me take them at all? Oh, I got too much junk. Who needs chickens and sugar cane when you got all that back at the base? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to continue on raiding. This is kind of fun. But we did get the piece that I really wanted, which was the waystone. Okay? Oh, natives are out. God damn it, I'm on fire now. No, I'm not. Okay. That was scary. They just started to come out from somewhere over that way. I guess there might be a cave or something. They almost got me. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, pick up these uh, resources that I don't have, but I'm running out of space. Like, what do I need? I really don't need... I mean, a crate would be nice. I don't need more storage casings. I don't need that either. Here they come again. Where are they? There we go. Die! They possibly are coming out of that cave down there. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm hurt pretty bad. Let's get some pizza. There we go. Okay. Yay. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out this stuff because there's so much here. Like rice. I mean, where was that? Rice seeds. See? we got to pick some of this stuff up. That canola keep hearing people moving around me so i'm just going to keep on gathering the stuff that i need like i don't need this right here whatever this is this is pork chop who cares canola seed this is uh just different things we just got to gather as much of the stuff we can that we you know don't need anything else and you can mix up later i don't need a pick i don't need that string could be useful i guess so we will be back in a little bit we are back at the base finally after getting what i could of those resources and we're going to put down the 
uh, waystone right here. On top of here, this is where people will appear. And we're going to call this Tinker's Island. There we go. Awesome. Now with that, now that that's there, I can then use the teleport abilities. Now, it, before in the stream, um, it turns out because I was opt, I had the teleport abilities. I have turned that off, so I'm no longer op on this. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go into our character, see this little scroll here? And this lets me go to any place where we want. Now home is right back here. This is our main base we made in the last episode all together. And there's DSA girl. We're going to go play a trick on her. Here. I punched her. She says, aww. Okay. She said no. Okay. Hey. Okay. Well, she's got nice armor, too. It looks like obsidian. I haven't done any obsidian yet. We're going to get some armor. We're going to get caught up. People are ahead of us in this uh, series. And that's not any fun. Let's see what we got here. Should I throw something up? Decorative zombie statue. Okay, so people are adding stuff. Interesting. What is this? Ah, oh, okay. Creep cube. Oh, one of those spawn me creep. Thank you. Thank you, DSA. We're going to head back to our base now. There we are. I'm going to put this away. I know what this is used for, and I'll show you that in a Oh, not now. I was trying to put it in the crate. There we go. I accidentally used it. You've probably seen that in another video, too. That's okay. Okay, let me see here. I'm looking at the time. I'm thinking I'm running out of time for this video. So let me do a couple little uh, errands here, and I think this is going to be just about it. I was right. It looks like it's going to be over 20 minutes long. I try to stick around the 20-minute mark, so I apologize if it goes a little long. But uh, that's just the way it is when I start to get into recording. So, as usual, if you like this video, please click that like button. Click it, click it, click it. And if you'd like to be notified of uh, any videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Subscriptions are absolutely necessary for uh, me to progress in YouTube's eyes. Finally, if you have any uh, comments, please put them in the comment section. I would really appreciate that. Comments are great. So uh, it helps me to kind of find the direction that we want to go with this uh, particular series. So finally, um, if you want to join us on Twitch, you can do that. The links are above. You'll see that there, and you can always find me there. Uh, I think I do like, usually about three times a week, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at around 7 o'clock Eastern. So thanks again, everybody. Have a great day. Until next time, bye-bye.